everybody, I'm Mini Mantis 519 and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on building a mega griefer. So this is a special contraption that lets you make a huge TNT exploded line in the middle of your world and it can be used to troll friends when you want to break their builds. It's a very quick one to make, but it involves many, many blocks, so don't do it in survival because it's really hard. So, we've got a button, observers, and TNT. So, we start here. Let's put a button there, put an observer, and then just make the line as long as you want it to be. Or, instead of building it like this, build it much higher in case you want it for multiple uses and you don't ha have to build it again. So I'm just going to build up with a bunch of grass blocks and we're going to try and destroy this village. Or maybe just destroy the plains. Yeah, let's do that. So let's make a big observatory chain like this as long as you could possibly want it to be. You can make it thousands of blocks, but I wouldn't recommend that because it would take a long time. So I'm going to do it this big. Now we're going to do this along. And it will always place it towards you. And if it doesn't, just swap it quickly. Also, if you don't want it to break, just leave this these observers a bit from the source observer so we'll do the other side and then we're going to load it with tnt and it's really annoying when you have to just stop like that i recommend doing it as close as possible so you, you don't get as many stops now we'll just fill it up with a lots of TNT. And this is the boring part of Minecraft, guys. Placing TNT to infinity and beyond. And we have to do it again for the other side. And hopefully we're going to be finished, yay. Now just go right back to the start and then press the button and watch the show. And that looks like there has been a malfun malfunction. Oh, and there we go. Just break the block in front of the observer if it doesn't work. And this is what this does to your world. So just a warning. It absolutely destroys your world in the line that you made. So this is the line that it has destroyed from just that long. This huge trail of destruction. So that's it for that tutorial. And next, part two of the video, we're going to be doing a special other chain which is similar to this but it's slightly different it doesn't cause as much damage and it's more resourceful so you might be able to do it in survival if you want plus if you put it on the ground it is single use so watch out for that if if you repeat like this observer tnt observer tnt then you can make a really long chain and then they'll all look explode at staggered times and you can if you do want to you can add ex extra ones on the side but i'm not going to do that for the purpose of this is it as a quick tutorial so we're going to make it quite small like this and then we'll just show you how it works now three two one well, exploding at staggered times, it can also be used as a slight cannon because it slightly propels the TNT over to the other side. And 
if you want to make it a cannon specifically, then you can do it like this. Okay, that's kind of broken. I do not know what happened there. Oh, the grass, yeah. That's the problem about grass, people. The problem. If you want to make your thing work, don't place it on grass because that thing happens. Because it shows the grass turning to dirt and that counts as a difference it made in the block. So you don't want to do that. So the cannon version, you'll need obsidian, obviously, or something that can resist explosions. So I'm going to build like this. And now you go underneath it and then we're going to try and do a nice trick shot like that or actually do it below because otherwise it won't work. So now we just need to put a block with redstone on it underneath. So now we've got redstone. And then we put another observer going into the block of obsidian, which then powers that TNT. And the TNT can be focused like this, or you can even make this chain shorter, which I might actually do. And it explodes again. I really am not sure why it exploded that time. I'm actually surprised. So, we're going to put the redstone, as always. Put an observer on top of it. Put the TNT there and, of course, channel it using the obsidian. Just to make sure it doesn't fly off in the wrong direction. So now we're going to activate it. Three, two, one, let's go. And it didn't propel very far, but I think I did it the wrong time. So if it's like that for you, make a repeater. And then that repeater will delay it. And you can place many repeaters if you really need to delay it a lot. I'm just going to try it with one repeater and see how good it is. So, repeater. Or maybe two, just for a bit of fun. And then we'll just put it to four ticks each. So that will be around a second delay. It should propel it much further now. And I've done it on the wrong side. Sorry guys, I did it on the wrong side. So we'd better change it to down here. There we go. Repeater four ticks, repeater four ticks. Around a second delay. We count it in real seconds. And then we're going to put the other one right up here. Mm. Placing of observers is so annoying sometimes. Because it, it kind of is really hard. For example, in this situation, you have to get in that such small place. Now are you finished? And hopefully it works this time. Place block of iron. Has been activated. Cannon. And it works. It doesn't shoot very far, but it does work. Using the same principles as the other one. Or even 
that one kind of mixed together. And then you can just reload it as many times as you possibly want to. And then just keep firing at your friend. Or even put a structure block and keep copying it and then activate them all at the same time. Now that would annoy your friends. If they built, for example, a skyscraper, you just destroy it with these, these small TNT cannons. Okay, I guess it, it's the end of this quick tutorial video. I hope you enjoyed and you, you learned something. And if you did enjoy, please subscribe and smash that bell and hit that like button. Bye.